that the Home Ministry will be looking at. The BJP government not wasting any time to settle in. The Home Minister held a series of meetings, as I said, on the long-pending issue of delimitation of constituencies in Jammu and Kashmir. He has already had a closed-door meeting with Jammu and Kashmir Governor Satyapal Malik. Today, Amit Shah met various other officials to discuss the matter. First things first, what is delimitation? It is the redrawing of boundaries of constituencies, both at the state level and for the Lok Sabha. It's something that the BJP has been pushing for for a while in Jammu and Kashmir. A decade ago, more than a decade ago, in 2008, the BJP demanded fresh delimitation of constituencies in Jammu and Kashmir. The reason? The existing electoral map of the state does not do justice to people in the Jammu region. Remember, Jammu is larger than the Kashmir Valley in terms of size. It has a higher population as well. But it contributes fewer seats than Kashmir to both the Lok Sabha and the Assembly elections. It's an imbalance that must be fixed. Now the government is said to be mulling over a delimitation commission. The commission could be tasked to oversee two crucial issues. One is the redrawing, the size and scope of Assembly constituencies. And two, figuring out the appropriate number of seats to be reserved for SCST communities. Why is this crucial? Because Jammu and Kashmir has been under President's rule since December 2018. It is unlikely to extend beyond July, but at some point, in the, it is likely rather to extend beyond July, but at some point in the near future, elections will have to be held. This delimitation exercise could potentially impact the nature of elections in the state. Another reason is the imbalance in the composition of constituencies in Jammu and Kashmir. For instance, there are no reserved seats in Kashmir. But here's what the population looks like. Nearly 10% of the population in the Kashmir Valley comes from Gujar, Bakarwal and Gaddi communities. All these communities were given scheduled tribe status in 1991. Delimitation will result in political representation for these communities. It will give them a political voice, a voice they must have. To understand this better, let's dwell on the data. What is the population of each region and how many seats does each region have? The Jammu region has a population of nearly 70 lakh people. Kashmir has roughly 54 lakh people, so Jammu has more people. A little over 2% of the population is in the Ladakh region. Now, all these numbers are from the Ministry of Home Affairs. But here's the intriguing bit. Kashmir's area is just 16% of the state, one six. Ladakh accounts for a whopping 58% of Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu has 26% of the state's area, so there is a huge mismatch between the area and the population of each region. And that's what delimitation will try to fix. Now a quick look at history. Jammu and Kashmir State Assembly was constituted under the Maharaja's 1939 constitution. After accession, Jammu was allotted 30 seats and Kashmir got 43 seats in the assembly. Over the years, these figures have changed. So now Kashmir has 46 assembly seats. Jammu has only 37. The Ladakh region, which accounts for most of the state in terms of size, has only four seats. If the Home Minister manages to implement delimitation, it will put to rest the long-debated issue of regional disparity in Jammu and Kashmir. Yes, the current numbers could be different from the 2011 census, but it's the closest indicator that we have. For all we know, with the rising urbanization, the Jammu region may hold more people today than what the Ministry has in terms of figures. It is certainly bigger in size. It has a higher population than the Kashmir Valley. There is no reason why Jammu should not be allotted a high number of seats. Proportional representation. This exercise, as we said, is long overdue. The last time delimitation happened in Jammu and Kashmir was back in 1995, 24 years ago. The next round should have been held in 2005. The constitution allows for delimitation once in every 10 years. But that exercise never happened when it was scheduled to happen. The National Conference government under Farooq Abdullah froze delimitation in 2002 for 25 years. So according to them, the next round can happen only in the year 2026. For this, they made some amendments to the Jammu and Kashmir Representation of People's Act 1957 as well as the Constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. The government made some changes, the state government. Under the normal circumstances, this amendment cannot be overruled, but right now the state is under president's rule. So the governor has the legislative authority to make those changes. Section 3 of the Representation of People's Act allows the governor to constitute a delimitation council 
and to amend section 473 of the constitution of Jammu and Kashmir. He can make those changes and he is willing to do that. Over the last few years, the BJP-PDP government could not carry out this delimitation exercise. Theirs was a turbulent regime, remember. But now if the Modi government can do it, it will be a demonstration of strong political will. And it's an important exercise. On this show, we have often highlighted such disparities. Some constituencies have less than 50,000 voters like Lakshwadeep, while some others have 30 lakh voters like Malkajgiri in Andhra Pradesh. How do you explain this gap? How is this proportional representation, 50,000 versus 30 lakhs? It will happen only when the vote of every voter counts the same. Not having regular delimitation cripples the equality of a vote. And that's what the government has set out to fix.